What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madison Payne and I'm a full-time Instagrammer and blogger and now I'm a baby YouTuber. So thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to style one of 2020's hottest trends and that is neon. Neon has been all over the runways, celebrities have been wearing it, so I thought it would be a really fun video to show you guys how I personally style neon. I've been wearing it a ton over on Instagram at Mads Pain, and a bunch of you guys have been commenting that you're like, oh that looks so good, but I can't wear that. Y'all. You can wear neon. It universally looks good on all skin tones. Before I started really heavily incorporating it into my wardrobe this season, I would have thought that it only looked good on darker or tan skin tones. But y'all, I'm pretty pale. I'm fair, even more fair skin than me. Rock neon. I think it's a very universally flattering trend that we can all wear. I'll show you guys different ways that I've styled neon as well as different color combinations that'll make it a little easier to incorporate it into your wardrobe. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So like I said, neon is a huge trend for 2020 it's been all over the runway specifically the neon that we've been seeing trending is the lime green neon but I just read an article like two days ago on who what where that the hot pink bubblegum bright neon color is right behind it so those are the two colors that I'm going to focus on for today's video and I'm gonna start with easy color combinations to move neon into your wardrobe so the first way a lot of really great neon outfits with this highlighter green neon color um, with camel either a camel dress or some camel pants I think it brings a little sophistication to the neon it looks really pretty I personally don't own anything like that I'm not a big khaki person or camel person really didn't realize that until I was trying to find a piece to style it with so I'll probably look for a skirt this season maybe to tuck the top that I have in to rock this color combo because I do think it's a way to kind of class up the neon and it looks really great. So the second color combo to do with neon is black. I'm a really big black wardrobe person. Most of my staples are black which I'm actually about to release my basics video on things you need to have in your wardrobe so definitely stay tuned for that video. Subscribe if you guys don't want to miss that one. I just think it automatically makes you look chicer, makes you look thinner, and it probably raises your credit score. So I'm a big fan of pairing neon with black. It's a much more subtle way to incorporate neon into your wardrobe. So the third one would be wearing neon with white, especially moving into the spring months. It makes it look really crisp and you look super seasonally appropriate to pair it with white. I did pair one of my outfits later in the video with white, so I'll show you guys more examples of that. And the last way, of course, is with denim. I'm a really big blue jean girl, and if you want to be on trend for 2020, the denim that's in right now is anything with a straight leg, from a crop straight leg, to a flare, to a bell bottom, just we're not seeing as much of the skinny jeans. Everyone owns skinny jeans, everyone loves their skinny jeans, so if you want to wear it with skinny jeans, wear your neon girl with some skinny jeans. I'm just letting you guys know that those are more of the jean trends that we're seeing, but as always, wear the jeans that look best with your body type. For me, that's a flare jean. I've been wearing flare jeans before they were even popular this year, so I'm glad that I get to be in again, but like always, dress for your body type, but it's super easy to have your favorite player blue jeans and throw on a neon top. It's always a great combo. So I would say there are three levels of wearing neon. The first would be just to add a pop of neon. If you're not that adventurous or you haven't worn neon before, that's where I recommend you start. So we're talking a neon bag, neon belt, maybe some neon sunglasses, shoes, earrings, something along those lines, and just kind of slip it in to your wardrobe. I personally styled an all white look from my Walmart bougie on a budget video. I was wearing the white Sofia Vergara jeans with that white um, wannabe linen shirt. You guys, every person stop what you're doing and go order that shirt. You are gonna need that shirt for summer and I never say that. I never tell people, even on Instagram, that they are gonna want this shirt, but you guys, this shirt is universally flattering on everyone. So else. I paired that all white outfit with these neon earrings, and these are from a local Houston girl. Her name is Sarah Strain, and it's called Saint Rain Jewelry. And I've actually had these for about three years now, and they surprisingly go with a lot. So this is a really easy way if you just kind of wanna dip your toe in the pool. So the other way that I've recently worn a pop of neon is with these shoes from Walmart. I thought they were $9, I think is what I said in my last video but I want to say when I went into Walmart the other day they were a little bit cheaper than that. I could definitely see myself this summer wearing these with a white tank top and a pair of denim shorts 
Right now, we're not quite to that weather in Houston. I'm recording this in February. I'm not sure when y'all are gonna see it. But we're not quite there yet, so I've been wearing them with black leggings and a white t-shirt. The reason I've been wearing it with a white t-shirt as opposed to a black tank top or something is because the shoes do have this white detailing on it. So they do look more like a spring, summer shoe, and an all black outfit does kind of pull it down. So I've been wearing it with a white top. It's a really easy way to wear neon. It's my favorite outfit right now to go run errands in because it's basic but a little extra that's what I'm going for the next way to wear neon is having the top or the bottom piece be neon and the other piece be one of the neutral color combos that I told y'all before so like the shirt I have on right now we're neon on top black pants on the bottom you guys saw my Walmart bougie on a budget video you might have seen this shirt it's only eight dollars and so the way that I style it later in the video is more untucked but just pairing it with black leggings like I have on right now I have it just tied to the side and then this particular shirt from Walmart I don't know if I mentioned it's only eight dollars and this is a size medium I'm I weighed myself this morning and I am 140 pounds typically a size six what else do you guys need to know oh I'm five two five three maybe on a good day just so y'all know. And I'm medium in the man section. And I did roll up the sleeves because this one has, I don't know if you guys can see it. This one does have this like not very cute, I, th I don't think it's very cute, um, Dickies emblem. But I just rolled it up, which I don't like this shirt with the sleeves undone anyway. It's the perfect neon color. And I think it's a super easy way that most people can work neon into their wardrobe. So like with this outfit, I like to do one thing that's baggier and one thing that's tighter. So with this top, it is baggier, although I do have it accentuating my waistline tied up. It's a baggier top with the tight leggings. The next way that I've recently styled neon is with this tight halter top. Y'all went nuts over this on Instagram, and unfortunately, I got it at a boutique in Houston, but I'm gonna really try to find an equivalent to it and link it down below before I put out this video. Um, but this is a tight top. I wore it with these baggy joggers, and these actually are also from my Walmart bougie on a budget video. But what makes these perfect for this outfit, besides my tight loose rule, is that, that the drawstring on the bottom does have a little bit of pink, and it matches the top perfectly so walmart has these pants still you guys are interested and they are only 13 dollars if you guys want to wear an outfit not with neon or let's say it's the green neon and you don't want to blend the neons together drinking game how many times i say neon in one video you can tuck it under and tighten it that way you don't see it but real real cute way to wear neon a great going out outfit and i paired this with some black shoes so I recently thrifted this crochet inspired top because crochet along with neon is a huge trend for 2020. On the runway, we're these more extravagant handmade crochet, but as it trickles down, you know it's going to look a lot more like this. So I thought this was a great find. So pairing this outfit with joggers, I didn't pair them with my windbreaker joggers, a black plain pair of joggers and a black pair of heels. I grab those shoes all the time. I call them my Khloe Kardashian shoes because to me they 100% look like something she would wear and I probably wear them at least half the time so I'll link those shoes below um, if they still have them but that's how I styled this one so, so sticking with our thrifted theme I have been so into thrifting this year when I was doing research on 2020 trends sustainable fashion is a huge trend for 2020 I used to be into thrifting a while ago but as soon as I saw that I was like wait why have I not been going to Goodwill lately like, so I'm actually having two thrifting videos because I ended up thrifting way more than I thought I was going to get and it's I don't want to put out a 30 minute long video so those should be on my channel this week but I just picked this one up so I haven't had a chance to style it. And I love this trend so I'm going to style this pretty much all the ways I'm going to flash on the screen of different celebrities wearing theirs or maybe how I styled my blue one in my Walmart again bougie on a budget video. I'm going to try to not mention that video every five minutes but it's a fantastic video. Y'all go check it out. Um, also if you're interested in a cardigan that you can for sure buy I will link up the Walmart time and true ones because they do look very similar to this one So another outfit idea I got this sweatshirt. It's a cropped little sweatshirt from Target It was for the airport I really like to have some sleeves on in case the airplane is really cold or the airport is cold it does have a drawstring and it's cropped is all the things I'm looking for and I wore these with my Spanx leather leggings if you've been on my channel and watched my Spanx videos you might be kind of surprised that I now wear them all the time because I absolutely hated the Spanx leather leggings. I bought them on sale and I still was convinced I was going to send them back. Honestly, I went on vacation and so much time went by that I couldn't return them anymore. Major complaint about the Spanx leather leggings is 
how tight they were but I don't think I think sizing up would have been too big for me I was about in between sizes I've since then lost about five pounds and now they fit me perfectly and they are the only pair of pants I want to wear I did get a medium and I also got the petite because I'm shorter if they recommend that if you're 5'4 and under to get the petite size they just fit you all over they make your butt look fantastic so I really recommend them just make sure that you're getting your correct size and if you order them online and you get them in the mail and you hate them you probably have the wrong size. Like I said to the airport I wore this with the Spanx leather leggings. It looked so good. It's one of my favorite outfits ever. I don't think Target still has this sweatshirt because I did get it a little while ago but Walmart in the junior section does have two different hoodie options for neon that honestly feel a lot softer than this and better than this. I probably would have gotten them instead had I not already have this because how many of these do you need? But I know there's one that's a hoodie and then there's one that's a scoop neck that has the drawstring on the bottom. So I highly recommend those. I'll link them below as well. So if you're trying to get into the neon trend, but you think you might want to push it a little further, I highly recommend getting these windbreaker joggers from Walmart. This is the same style, same brand, all the things as the black ones that had the little pink that I showed y'all earlier. Um, this one, the detailing on the bottom is black. First of all, you need these anyway in your life, even if you don't want to get them in neon. Um, I have the camo one and the black one. These are hands down the most flattering pair of pants that I've ever put on my body. They make my waist look like this and they make my butt look huge. If you're interested in those things, I would definitely get these. But I think these are a great gateway item for a neon. And it might seem a little intimidating to be in a full neon pant, but guys, it is so flattering. Just wear it with something black on top and you are good to go. But if you want to be really extra and my last and final way to wear neon is to go ahead girl and go for the full head to toe neon look which is actually what I did with this Walmart shirt. It's why I bought it. There's a photo of Hailey Bieber and some neon joggers and a neon oversized tee and as soon as I saw it I was like I'm on the hunt for a complimentary color to these neon pants so I can recreate that outfit and I did. It's so bougie and over the top. I realize it's a style that's not for everyone, but just go into Walmart, try it on. Like I said, they have this in the men's section and then these pants are in the junior section. I got a size medium. This is $8 again and these pants were 13. Just go try it on and see how you like it. Pair it with a black pair of heels, heels or some dad sneakers. The dad sneaker look doesn't look great on me, so that's why I kind of forego that trend but it might look cute on you just give it a try because it's so much fun and we see a lot of celebrities rock the head to toe neon like Hailey I feel like Hailey wears it kind of often um I recently saw Blake Lively was in this head to toe neon suit she looked killer of course you have people like Olivia Cupo who will just be in a completely neon dress so there's a lot of ways to have a fully neon outfit if you guys start with these little neon accessories and just work your way up you're gonna love this trend it looks so good on everybody. All right, so that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this styling video on how to wear neon. If you guys want to see any other styling videos, outfit ideas, definitely let your girl know. Be sure to subscribe because I put out videos like this all the time. Also, follow me over at Instagram at Mads Pain where I share daily style, beauty, life, all the things. So I'll put my handle to the side if you guys are interested. And until my next video, bye, y'all.